Right, g'day everyone, Matt from Panda Garage here. Today we are doing a oil change service on a Jeep Compass. So if you've got a Jeep Compass from, I think it's about 2007 to this year, they've just changed over to the new Jeep Compass. Um, this is for the two litre variant of the four cylinder. So we're gonna be changing the oil today and I'm gonna go through the process of how to do that. So join me today on Panda Garage so we get stuck right into it. Okay, a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I thought initially I was going to have to take this um, bash plate off. But as you can see, they've allowed gaps. Oh, I can't reach. There's the, uh, the oil plug. And there's the filter, so they've actually allowed the space uh, to access this from uh, underneath without removing that shroud. So that's actually really clever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the oil first. Um, I've already heated the car up to sort of loosen up all the oil. And um, then we'll remove the oil filter once it's basically fully drained off. And then we'll put the new filter in and we'll chuck the new oil in. Okay, so I thought I'd better add as well that the, the oil... Um drain plug is a 13 millimeter um, socket um, so you can use either a ratchet spanner or a socket um, basically um, so we're gonna get stuck into that now but I thought I'd just let you know yeah 13 mil so remember okay, that. so that's draining off now so I'm just gonna have to wait it out and then I'm gonna have to work out how to remove the oil filter I'm hoping it's not stuck on there too tight because I've just realized I broke my oil filter remover Last time I did a service, so yeah, hopefully that can come off easily. <laughs> okay, so what oil we're using today is um, a 5W20. That's what um, Jeep recommends for this motor. So we've gone with a new one, um, full synthetic, which is um, really good oil, Australian made oil, um, very good quality stuff. So we're using that. And then we've got a filter. These are Ricos, also Australian made. These are, um, the code for these is a Z663. So if you're um, going down to your local parts store in Australia in particular, look for that code. Sometimes you can actually look these codes up um, anywhere, um, but otherwise check your manufacturer's books or um, check online even. That usually will give a good indication or in store this books. So there are two items that we're gonna be using today. So we're gonna drain the oil out, put all this fresh stuff in. We'll have this oil looking like honey. It'll be fantastic. So. We'll get all this sorted, let it drain, then we'll get stuck back into it. Okay, so now we've got the oil all drained out. Took me a while, it's been an hour or so before, since I uh, last posted you guys on what I've been doing. Um, I forgot that I broke my tool that usually gets out the oil filters, so I had to sort of make, set up a sort of contraption to pull it out. So I'll show you guys at that, the end of the video um, that. But we've got a new filter here. I've just rubbed a bit of oil on it to uh, give it a good seal. Gonna chuck that in the car now, and then we're gonna pour all the oil in. Okay, so now for the oil. Just get a little cap off, which for some reason a Jeep one is extremely tight. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I really should have. Okay, so now time for the oil. <coughs> <coughs> okay, now time for the oil. I didn't actually, can't find my, um, funnel so I'm just cut the top of a bottle so um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this in now a Jeep compass takes about four I think it's 4.25 liters of oil so we've got a five liter container here so we've got more than enough now let's see if I can get it in there we go so we just want to get it in it looks like honey now when we pulled it out it was black as anything so Pour this in. Now I've poured in about two litres at this point. Just going to have a quick check underneath. Make sure there are no leaks. This would be nothing worse. I'm having a bit of a leak right now. But it doesn't look like it. Which is good, so we'll continue. You just want to make sure that your filter has a good seal and that you've tightened up the, the 
oil pan bolt just right. Don't overdo it. Same as the oil filter. It only has to be finger tight, the oil filter. And the um, you don't want to over tighten the, uh, the, uh, the sump plug either. So make sure you do that. Okay, that actually is bang on. Beautiful. So we're going to let that drain down, then we'll check our level, and then we'll be able to start up the car and see how she's gone. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. That last part that I was going to show you is a little bit messy, so um, I'll just explain. I essentially, you use a, like a screwdriver handle, and then you have a pair of pliers, and you just twist the oil filter around until it loosens up, and then you can grab it by hand. So that's basically what I wanted to, want to show you at the end. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, chuck your car on our Facebook or Instagram page or uh, the Panda Garage. More on the Facebook page than the Instagram page. Um, any comments or questions, leave them down below or um, direct message me on Facebook or Instagram. And until next time, guys, my name is Matt. This has been Panda Garage. And I'll see you all next time.